Charles A. Chuck Horner was born in Davenport, Iowa in 1936. He graduated from high school in Des Moines and enrolled in the University of Iowa in 1954. Reserve Officer Training Corps was his ticket to the United States Air Force and to flight school. He was awarded a degree and a commission in 1958, and then completed flight training at Spence Air Force Base, Georgia, and Laredo Air Force Base, Texas, earning his pilot wings in late 1959. After combat crew training in the North American F-100 Super Sabre, Warner joined the 492nd Tactical Fighter Squadron in England. In 1963, he transitioned to the Republic F-105 Thunder Chief and served in the 4th Tactical Fighter Wing at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, North Carolina. He volunteered for combat duty and served two tours in Vietnam between 1965 and 1967. He flew 41 missions in the THUD as a member of the 388th Tactical Fighter Wing, Thailand, including the first aerial attacks on North Vietnamese surface-to-air missile sites. He went on to fly an additional 70 missions from Korat Royal Thai Air Base as an F-105 Wild Weasel. In September 1967, Horner was reassigned to Nellis Air Force Base as an instructor and then liaison officer at the Air Force Tactical Fighter Weapons School. He went on to lead two tactical fighter wings, two air divisions, and the Air Defense Weapons Center. In March 1987, Horner took command of the 9th Air Force and U.S. Central Command Air Forces. On August 3, 1990, General Horner was flying an F-16 to TAC headquarters when he was called back to 9th Air Force. Iraq had invaded Kuwait. After flying to Central Command headquarters, he went with General Norman Schwarzkopf to brief President Bush and then on to Saudi Arabia where he became the first Coalition's Forces Air Component Commander. During Operation Desert Storm, people around the world came to know Horner and his wry commentary during daily briefings. In one memorable scene, General Horner remarked, quote, this is my counterpart's headquarters, unquote, as a building in Iraq took a direct hit. After the Gulf War, he pinned on his fourth star and completed a distinguished career leading the North American Aerospace Defense Command, United States Space Command, and Air Force Space Command. General Horner retired in 1994 with more than 5,300 flying hours and a variety of fighters. General Horner now lives near Eglin Air Force Base, Florida with his wife, Mary Jo.